Bacteriophage, which are normally associated with their ability to kill their bacterial hosts, have been found to protect bacteria during infection in mammals. Welcome to Microbial Minutes, ASN's update on what's hot in the microbial sciences, whose side are phage on anyway edition. I'm Julie Wolf, and today we'll be talking about a paper from Science, which demonstrates that bacteriophage protect bacteria by misleading the mammalian immune system. Now, bacteriophage have been gaining popularity in both scientific circles, clinical circles, and even in mainstream news as a potential treatment against bacterial infection. Bacteriophage can specifically act against not only species, but sometimes even strain-specific um, members of a particular microorganism, and that allows treatment of an infection that doesn't disturb the rest of the microbial community of one's microbiome. Uh, as you can see in the right-hand side, that there is a phage that has infected, a number of phage that have infected a particular bacterial cell, and that bacterial cell is chock full of progeny virions. And these virions will eventually break open and, and kill that bacterial cell. But the way that that bacterial cell interacts with the host immune system is different than the way that the phage may interact with the uh, host immune system. Uh, they both have molecular patterns, certain ways that the immune system will detect what is present. And this is very important for tuning the innate immune response. There are particular patterns that are associated with bacterial uh, materials, things like flagella or LPS, and others that are more commonly associated with viral um, types of microorganisms, such as double-stranded RNA. And that can activate certain immune responses that are necessary for that specific microorganism type. The question being asked by this particular um, group of scientists is, how do phage interact with the host immune system? Moving on to the next slide, we'll see that they did a number of different experiments, but they began with an observation of uh, clinical samples from humans who had chronic wounds that were infected with Pseudomonas aeruginosa. They noted that Two-thirds of these wounds were infected with a pseudomonas strain that contained the bacteriophage PF, and that, um, importantly, more common these, these bacteriophage um, associations were more commonly associated with the chronic wounds, wounds that were taking a long time to heal, wounds that were lasting more than six months, as you can see in the red graph on the right-hand side there. To recapitulate this in mice, scientists um, added uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa to cause a wound within the mice, and they found that they required 50 times fewer bacteria when the bacteria also had the, ba the bacteriophage than if they infected with the bacteria alone. And you can see that in the blue uh, bar graph on the right-hand side there. So they did some more experiments, and they, they confirmed that immune cells can interact with the phage themselves, taking them up by endocytosis. And that after those phage are taken up within the host cell, the phage DNA can actually be turned into RNA, which will interact with um, different uh, host receptors to trigger an antiviral response and actually quiesce some of the responses that are necessary to clear bacteria, such as phagocytosis. They further found that if they immunized mice against this PF bacteriophage, that they were able to increase the immune response and clearance of bacteria because the immune system was able to specifically target that bacterial microorganism without any interference of an antiviral response. On our next slide, um, we'll see actually a, a photo, or not a photo, um, a micrograph uh, rendition of one of those immune cells that have taken up some of those bacteriophage. This was written up in a number of different outlets. It was produced as a press release by Stanford University where the research was produced. Uh, and it was also written up in Stat Magazine. Both of these um, outlets highlighted the use of this um, vaccine against the bacteriophage as a way to potentially protect patients, such as those that have chronic pseudomonas infections um, commonly found in cystic fibrosis, cyst, uh, excuse me, cystic fibrosis patients, for example. Um, they also, uh, in Stat Magazine, hi highlighted that the phage that are being um, studied in this particular study are different than the phage that are being explored for their antibacterial purposes. In summary, bacteriophage can trigger an antiviral immune response, and this can prevent bacterial clearance um, during infection. 
like to thank you for listening. And if you want to follow Microbial Minutes in the future, be sure to subscribe. I'd like to thank Ray Ortega for uh, production. I'm Julie Wolf, and I'll be with you next time on Microbial Minutes.